it has been one week since the release of patch 4.2 and the tier 1 contenders have started to settle at the top of the meta. In this video, I'll give my picks for the 5 best legends of Runeterra decks for ranked. If you're trying to climb to masters or to top masters as fast as possible, you should prioritize learning one of these 5 decks. Number 1 and number 2 should be no surprise, Jace Lux and Jace Heimerdinger. These two decks have benefited greatly from the consecutive buffs of Albus Ferras in patch 4.1 and the release of Formula in patch 4.2. Jace Lux is currently the most played deck of the patch with an amazing win rate of 56.2%. Jace Heimerdinger, on the other hand, is the sixth most played deck of the patch and is also displaying great numbers at 55.1% win rate. A huge factor to the success of these two decks is their great matchup against Demacia Elites, a deck that I'll get to later on. If you want to learn how to play Jace Lux, check out my full video guide where I discuss the deck's intricacies and show a bunch of games on how to pilot it correctly. For Jace Heimerdinger, I'll be showcasing its gameplay later in this video. My third pick following the Jace archetypes is Talia Ziggs. Talia Ziggs is the ninth most played deck in the patch with an overall win rate of 56.4%. I recommend playing this deck in Ranked Ladder because of its favored matchups against Jace Lux, Jace Heimerdinger, and Demacia Elites. Having favored matchups against these popular decks can give you a massive advantage when queuing Ranked Ladder. My fourth pick for the best decks for Ranked Ladder is Garen Jarvan Demacia Elites. Due to the release of Loyal Badger Bear, Garen Jarvan is now the second most played deck in the meta with a tier 1 win rate of 55.6%. This isn't included in my top 3 picks because of its unfavored matchup against Jay's archetypes and because you likely face a lot of mirror matches which are 50-50 in terms of win rate percentage. Nonetheless, elites can absolutely demolish non-counter decks and should still be a great deck to use for ranked especially if you just started learning the game. Later in this video, I will be showcasing gameplay for both Talia Ziggs and Garen Jarvan. My final pick for the 5 best decks in ranked ladder is a rising meta contender, Orn Jax. Orn Jax has not seen too much play yet in patch 4.2, but it's already displaying an impressive win rate of 57.1%. In patch 4.2, it's looking like it's making its comeback to the top of the meta because it's a potent counter to Jace Lux and Garen Jarvan. Similar to Talia Ziggs, using Orn Jax in ranked will give you good chances to queue into a favored matchup. If you want to learn how to play this deck, I also have a dedicated guide for Orn Jax. Links will be in the description below. That's it for my picks for the top 5 decks for rank. All the deck codes and deck links will be in the description and pinned comment of this video. Before we proceed to the gameplay portion, if you want to see more meta breakdown videos from me, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, if you want to support me, you can always leave a like and a random or non-random comment instead. Enjoy the games and good luck to your ladder climb. I think we need, just need to look for a 6 cost spell and activate Hextech Handler. I could keep Adaptator on, but I'd like to mulligan for a 6 cost spell. If possible. Hextech Handler is our win con. Nice. Formula is good. Oh my god, Formula? Formula is so good right now. They'll likely pass this turn. Or whatever they do, we can just Formula. Second formula, man. And then we hex tech handler. I would say previously Field Rush was one of the bad matchups of Jace Heimer because she who wanders will wreck you. We just play out our units. Nothing beats field testing. We just play out our units here. 
Just have to be as aggressive as we can while we can. He who wonders is the scare, scare card. That's fine. Yeah, we just do it. We just do it. We have to do it. We just have to go. If we wait too long, we won't get any value. Just have to exert pressure here. They could feel the rush now. That's fine, that's fine. We, we can just block, right? We can just block. We can block with Vile Feast. We formula first, see what we draw. We draw Jace. If we can get in the Albus Ferris hit, that would be very good for us. Okay. They could still have Quietus. Okay. Yeah, she who wanders wrecked us there. We just have to bet that the Albus Ferris damage goes to face. It's our only hope, I guess. Please don't have vengeance. Or three sisters. Ah, oh, we won. We won. They need Catalyst of Eons now to win. To not die. Oh, never mind. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, nope. <laughs> Do you have Catalyst of Eons? Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> we won against a bad matchup. That's how powerful the deck is. Almost everything didn't go our way. You're very flexible. You can go for the turret game plan. You can go for the burn game plan. If all else fails, Albus Ferris will bail you out. They had to commit removals on Jace. They had to commit removals on our turrets. Uh, we're up against Elites. According to the stats, Elites is one of the decks that we counter. But this is my first time playing Zigstalia in a while. I'm pretty sure I mulligan all of these away. Huh? We have Waste Walker, which we want to snowball with. It, want it. We can Rock Hopper now and ensure that we get one buff on the Waste Walker next turn, right? We play Waste Walker immediately and we secure the buff. They don't do anything. If they don't do anything, I'm gonna burn their mana. Or I could just inflict 3 damage. I could just inflict 6 damage. We are the aggressor. Inflicting 6 damage is big. 
Especially since we have Absolver. I think that's okay. Oh, what the hell. They could have done that, uh... They could have done that the turn after, right? Wouldn't have made the difference. A symbol worth fighting for. Hi. We'll be able to suicide... To... Get some strong units going here. Out of my way. So I want to duplicate this sarcophagus, but we might need to desert naturalist just to keep up in tempo. Let's do this now. Yeah, I think we just desert naturalist to keep up in tempo. Ooh. We can drop the bomb you. But just to keep up in board, let's do this. I, I, I'm not gonna be greedy with my Talia. I'm not gonna be greedy with my Talia. And I'm not gonna attack yet with my Waste Walker because it, it could grow even larger. I think I just take this trade. I like the trade. And I'm not gonna attack with my Grumpy Rockberry yet because I want to drop the bomb this trusty Ramhound. Just in case they have champion strength, do, do they just want to go and trade? That's a reason to trade, just in case they have a champion strength. Champion strength instantly wins the game for them if they don't believe that we have right of negation. Yeah, champion strength instantly wins the game for them. I think if we're removing their board, we're, it, it will be better for us. I wonder why they're not trading here. Okay, they spend all their mana. We're still relatively okay. We just need to level up Talia now. And we can do that with drop the bomb, right? Discipline and steal. If I stumble, I have the earth to catch me. Or me. If you don't want sand in your sleeves, huh? When family means so much. They already used concerted strike. This is this makes their awkward their attack slightly awkward, right? Ah, I see you. They have another concerted strike. We're gonna die anyway next turn. I have to pre-commit my absolver. I have to pre-commit Absolver. You just have to go, right? They already used a uh, concerted strike. We actually go out of range of Concerted Strike. If they have Concerted Strike by Sharp Sight, then nothing we can do about it. They already swung Concerted Strike earlier. GG. Nice. I think given that I didn't have right of negation, it was correct for me to play around champion strength, right? Uh, these are the types of decks where we could just run through them. This is a full mulligan. Champion strength is vulnerable to deny, so you almost never keep it against Ionia. Um, you, you want to start an early snowball of your early units. You want to curve out early.
Um, I'm gonna pass here. I wanna go turn 2 Battlesmith into turn 3 Ramhound and Vanguard Defender. Alternatively, if we want to play around Avalanche, we can also just immediately Vanguard Defender. Avalanche is the only thing that's stopping us. I think I just hold off on my trusty Ramhound for now and try to get value out of Battlesmith just in case they have Avalanche. If I greed out with trusty Ramhound, I'm punished hard, right? Now we can go with trusty Ramhound into blocking Badger Bear anyway. Um, they dro drop out of mana. They drop mana out of Bury the Nice. Garen. My heart and sword I mean, it's just it's just hard to stop this train. This is just the elite game plan, right? It's just hard to stop this train for slow decks. A lot of my experiments with off meta decks aren't going well because I'm facing elite decks and this is the power of elites. I'm gonna attack with uh, Battlesmith last because it's the only good trade they have and we don't want them to get good trades. They lost. They can do anything here. Even it that stairs won't do much. It that stairs can kill two of my units. I, I just Vanguard Bannerman. Serene Sky Singer. We Vanguard Bannerman this way? Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. Straightforward elite game plan. If you're a new player and you just want to win ranked games, just play elites. But one downside of elites, you have a losing matchup against the most popular G tech, Jace Locks. But everyone, not everyone's playing Jace Locks. 